Today's video was made possible through the support of the awesome Max Hunt. Thank you, sir, and thank you to everyone else on the Patreon who's gotten involved and helped me to make more and better videos. I appreciate all of you. Thank you. Hi there, guys. Welcome back to the shop for episode 20 on Project Archie. Today, there's no wires, there's no soldering, there's no crimping. It's going to be a lot easier than what we've had in the past few. We're actually working with just this. This is everything you'll need. You're going to need the big J3 bearing cup here. You're gonna need your 30204 bearing, which is two pieces. It's the race and the bearing. You're gonna need your J3 spindle. Now, I did jump ahead and I'm a bad man and I'm sorry, but if you have the fight that I had, you're, you're not gonna be upset that I had to jump ahead on this. This is the J3 spindle with its eight millimeter shaft and the two by two millimeter key already installed. And the reason it's already installed is because once you hammer that motherfucker in there, it ain't coming back out. This was a fight. And it's not too bad. Like there's nothing of note here other than that's a hammer fit. But once she goes in, she ain't coming out. So I'm not, I'm not gonna try taking it out just to destroy the part to show you hammering a really big nail into a tight little hole. But apparently for the first time, that hole's really goddamn tight. So just line up your shaft, smash it in. Now for me, I couldn't get the shaft all the way, or I couldn't get the key all the way in. There was like a centimeter hanging out. So I just broke it off because it really, it's not going to matter that much. If you can't fit the entire key in there, um, you could file it a little bit. I didn't. I just smashed the damn thing in and it worked fine. So there you go. You will also need the M3 by four millimeter screw right here, um, but we'll get to that. So that's that set of parts. Over here, you're going to need your M3 by 20 flathead screws, they'll look like this. And remember, when you measure these kind of screws, like that, so you get just under three for the width. And then when you measure the overall length, you measure the overall length. You actually include the head when you're dealing with flathead screws and they're just a hair under 20. The other part you're gonna need is your 35 by 52 by four thrust bearing. And that'll look like two big washers that are exactly the same and this part, which is really cool looking. And if you measure these on the outside or on the inside, there'll be 35 millimeters. On the outside, They're gonna be about 52 millimeters. And then on the thickness, cause it's a bearing, if you measure just the bearing, you're gonna have about two millimeters. But if you put the whole assembly together, and measure the thickness, you're gonna have just about four millimeters. All this stuff is like plus or minus a little bit because we have manufacturing tolerances. So over here, we've got our J3 spindle retainer, which is this nifty piece of metal here with the little keyway in it. And you'll notice that on one side, they're countersunk, the other side, they're flat. That's important later. And then you're gonna have your M3 by 10 screws. You're gonna have four of them. So we measure those and they're about three. And we measure the whole length because it's, it's a countersunk screw. They're about 10. Okay, so M3 by 10, and you'll have four of those. And that's everything you need. It's a lot of parts, there's a lot going on, but this is actually a pretty simple process here. Now all of our screws, except for, no, all of our screws are M3s. So we should be able to use a two millimeter wrench for all of them, yep, that fits there. That fits there, and I'll check on our little grub screw, which might be a size smaller, but I think it's the same. Yeah, the little grub screw, you're gonna need a smaller size, so we'll get there in a minute. All right, so now we've got everything moved out of the way, but I want you to take a moment and appreciate the fact that I set up that pretty, pretty shot just for you, because I care. 
All right, so the first two things you're gonna need are your J3 bearing cup and your 30204 bearing race. And this is a nice easy step. You have them both with the openings up and you drop this into there. You may have to wiggle a little bit, you might have to smack it once or twice, but for me it drops right in nice and easy. So now half of your bearing is assembled. So now you're gonna grab your awesome six M3 by 20 screws, that whole pile, and we're gonna mount this on the end of the arm. So we get to bolt this all together. Now you can see these are countersunk on this side. So our bolts are gonna go through this way and they're gonna hold it to the arm. Okay, so when you put this on, you're gonna have the long axis of the arm will line up to any pair of the bolts, but you've got a lot of holes here all at once. So you're gonna use the, the one in the middle and the one in the middle out there and everything else will just line up. So this is gonna go on in this direction. Make sure it's all seated down. And this won't fall through when you put it on. It'll just, it'll just sit there and be good. So we're gonna line up to the middle one first, and then everything else will just fall into place. And remember the bolt mitt rules, backwards till it clicks, then all the way down, then back a turn. And I'm gonna do opposite ends because then I know everything else will line up right. So backwards till it clicks, and then all the way down, and then come back a turn and do that with all of your bolts. And then go down and, and set them all the way down. And this is pretty quick and easy. And then all the way down, and you can see that'll still wiggle, but they're all in place. And now I can, I can set them home. You may want to put in your blue Loctite at this stage, but for me, I'm going to go back and, tight and, and Loctite everything after I've done the complete assembly, just so that I can double check all my work. Because this is my first robot. And I'm known to screw things up from time to time, and I'm willing to guess you might too. Now I'm just going to lay this down while we're working on it so that I can just so I can get it better on camera. But when you move this, do it really slow. If you if you choose to move your arm. Okay, so the next step is this infernal contraption, which hates me. Um, and for that, all you have to do is install the eight millimeter keyed shaft with the two by two millimeter key stock into the J3 spindle, as you see here. So the key goes in there, hammer the shaft in there. This is absolutely on mine a press fit. I didn't have a press, but I had a fair bit of anger management issues and a really good vice and just beat the hell out of that thing till I got it in there. So it's pretty simple. That's how you do it. After you do that, we have to set the M3 by four set screw. Okay, so you're going to need a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench, and this just zips right in the side, and it should line up with the key, and everything should just go together. Now, if you have a ball head, it'll pop around, so swap ends, and you want that to be in there pretty good. Don't, don't strip it out, but it goes in pretty good. All right, the next step is our 35 by 52 by four millimeter thrust washer. So that's this stack of stuff. And this is really super easy. All you have to do is drop that on there and it'll go down in, in its little groove. Put the washer or the, the bearing itself on top and then this washer on top of that. And they all live down in a little groove. Make sure they're all clean and it's gonna want like a drop of oil for the whole thing, like a light duty, like uh, this is a really good opportunity to use like three in one oil, just like a really, really light machine oil is all that needs. And you put a couple drops on that, one on each side and it's fine forever. 
if you do put oil on this, and you should, put oil on the inside here. Don't put this together and then put oil on the outside. That's not going to do you any good. The oil goes down in here. Okay, so that's our bearing together. Okay, so here's where we have a little bit of a juggling act because you can't really put this in and expect it to stay there. But this can go in from that side. And this is your 30204 center bearing and that goes in and it'll, it can hang out in the race. And then bring this in from the other side and the center bit will go through the center but your outer bearing thrust washer is going to wibble around. So it's a bit of a juggling act and it's not easy to do. It may be easier to do this because that'll, that'll all hold in position as you, as you work that around. And then put this in and you can, you can kind of guide it and hold that and it's there. And then take the center piece and drop that down in and you wiggle it a little bit and it'll, it'll find its center. And now it's all together and it's where you want it and we'll turn it to the, sh the key of the shaft way is facing up. So there you go, that's how it goes together. And now don't let go, <laughs> and you're gonna be fine, okay? So we've got the J3 spindle and the bearing in place, and we've inserted the 30204 bearing over the J3 spindle shaft like that, okay? So the next step is we're gonna install the J3 spindle retainer, and we're gonna secure that in place with the four M3 by 10 screws. So this has to go on with the counter sinks facing out. Okay, you can see the other side, they just look like circle holes. One side, you can see the counter sinks. That's the, the, the angly parts. And you gotta line up the keyway. And if you do that, all the holes will just line up and you just slide that right down all the way in and then get a screw in it. So get your screw lined up. And then we'll run that screw down and then come back a little bit. And then we'll put a screw in on the opposite corner. A little bit of a juggling act, but you can do this. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay, and now you can let go of that. Don't, don't go dancing with it, but it won't fall apart. Backwards till it clicks and then run it on down. Okay, and that's our last screw, so now we can tighten them all down. That is cool as hell, and we now have a whole thing. Now those are way too tight. If, if this doesn't turn easy, those are too tight, so I'm going to run them down just finger tight because I just tried to turn that and that was, that was way too tight. Yeah. This should turn really easily, so don't over tighten those screws. They go down just snug. Yeah, now the whole thing moves. Check that out. So these screws, you're definitely going to want to lock. You're, you're going to want some blue Loctite on them because if you over tighten them, this will bind up because that's a bearing retainer and that's, that's preloading that bearing a little bit. And if they're too loose, they're going to work their way out from vibration and stuff. So definitely you're going to want some blue Loctite on those. That's cool. And that takes us all the way to page 100 and the end of episode 20. We've gone through 100 pages of manual already and there's still 200 more to go. So we got 20 videos in. I think we're going to have at least 20 more by the time we're done. But we made a thing. We have now made the J3 spindle bearing assembly. So that's cool. Good job, guys. We now have a third whole joint of robot that moves. So we can bring this back up slowly. You want to move this slow because there's a big gear motor on the end. And if you move this fast, you're, this will actually work as a generator and you'll generate more electricity than the windings in there want to have. So if you just got like that, you can permanently destroy your motor. So don't do that. 
And at some point, we're going to have to do something about all the dreadlocks on here, but I'll bet that's going to happen in an upcoming video. All right, guys, so I want to thank everybody for hanging out today. I want to thank all the people that are hanging out live in the Discord. Say hi, guys. Hello from the Bay Area. From, from Norway, San Francisco and Norway. Cool. Well, thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you for watching this. I do appreciate it. And if you're interested to be a part of this, if you're interested in supporting the videos, check out the links below in the description because you could be in on this video shoot hanging out in the Discord, or you could even help make these videos happen through the power of Patreon. This is actually my full-time job, so I actually depend on you guys to be able to teach people about science and technology. Thank you, everyone. You guys have fun. And as always, we'll see you next time. Project Archie, episode 20, Master Sync. And I've got to be able to get a better shot of that, because that is shit. That is a shitty fucking camera angle, and there's no easy way to do this.